Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy Pat, and this is the Hotwired Bluetooth Heated Gear Overview. So we're going to take a closer look at the jacket, the gloves, the pants, and there's also a vest included in this lineup as well. If you're familiar with the Hotwired Evo gear, well, not a whole lot has changed. However, they're adding Bluetooth to the party now via an app, and some of the garments actually near the tags will have a QR code on the inside of the garment, so you can actually scan that it'll, uh, with your phone, and then it'll pull up the app right away for you. If not, uh, like the gloves, I don't believe they have the QR code on the inside of the, the tags there, so you can actually type in Hotwired uh, at your app store. It should pull it right up for you. Very easy to utilize. And the major benefit to that Bluetooth capability is that you will now have 10 different heat settings versus the three that the Evo came with. You've still got those three options. You've still got the buttons to press there if you want to toggle in between those heat settings, but you're only going to have three options with those. You've got uh, green is going to be the low, then you've got the orange at the medium, and then the red is going to be the highest setting. And you're still going to have that versatility with the gloves, the pants, as well as the jacket, and of course the vest too. But I like the Bluetooth capability there. You can mount your phone to your handlebars and then you can control those settings on the fly as you need to do so. So a little bit more is always a good thing. But other than that, it's really just a light update, adding that Bluetooth capability. The toggle for uh, you know adjusting that heat on the garments has up, been updated a little bit. It was a square, now it's a circle. Still gives you that same versatility. Works just as well as the Evo option did in the past. Now let's talk about the prices real quick here. The jacket is coming in at 220 bucks. For the pants, you're looking at $200. The vest is also gonna be $200, but I will note the vest is, uh, feels a bit more like a destination liner as well. I think it's something you can wear as a standalone option, whereas this is really designed to be worn underneath your garments when it's really cold outside. Uh, and the gloves are coming in right at $180. Um, so each of these items will ship to you for free, of course, and they will all include the heated wiring harness. So this goes directly to your battery leads, and you've got this open end right here. This is the coax, so you can plug this into the garment, and that's going to provide the power to your heated party here. If you've not used heated gear, I'm telling you right now, I've been using the Hot Wired Evo jacket for about two years now. It makes a huge, huge difference. Check it out, I'm telling you, you won't regret it. I rode for years and years without heated gear, and as soon as I got it, I was like, why the hell did I do that for so long? Because it's so simple, especially with this setup, and it works very, very well. So, first of all, let's talk about the overall fit before we get going on all the details here. So, Pat is about 220 pounds, 44 inch chest, six feet tall, and he's currently wearing a size large in the jacket. What I would typically recommend for you, and he's wearing a size large in the pants as well. Go with your typical t shirt size, your typical pants size. You know, uh, there are a few measurements there that you can reference, but for me, I've been using the Hotwire heated Evo jacket for about two years. Went with my typical t shirt size, which is a medium, um, and everything fits me well, and I think you'll have no problems there. Uh, with that. When it comes to the gloves themselves, I go with a size large. I fit in a size large in most of my riding gloves, um, so that is something I would recommend as well. Go with your typical size. What do you typically wear? You should be all set there, but again, there are measurements there if you're unsure uh, what you normally wear uh, with motorcycle gloves or gear make sure you check out that sizing chart. There's uh, sizing charts for all of these options so you can take a closer look. Starting with the jacket, very straightforward. You got some slash pockets here on the side, but otherwise uh, it's, it's very straightforward. You've got the heating elements right here at the chest. You're gonna have it on both sides. You're gonna have a heating element on the uh, inside of the collar. You're gonna get it running down the sleeves as well as the back. It's gonna be these carbon fibers that kind of heat up very similarly to uh, you know your toaster. You know when you turn that on, you can kind of see those coils heating up. Well, the same thing's going to happen here, but you've got different fibers on the inside that are flexible. They're going to move well with the body, but they're going to heat up uh, the garment itself. So you're going to have that on the inside of the jacket, the vest, the pants, as well as the gloves. They're all going to use that same technology. Now, Pat, if I may, right here towards the bottom of the wrist. We can open this up. You're going to see this coax cable on the inside. This allows you to plug directly to the gloves and kind of bridge that gap there. You're getting your main power source, you know, from that battery harness that I showed you before. That's going to plug into the jacket. Then this can plug into the gloves. So everything is getting heated up accordingly. So everything does connect. So you really only need one battery harness um, for the job for the gloves and the jacket combination. I really like that. That's my favorite, and it works really well. The gloves themselves. Let's talk about that for just 
a minute. These are completely waterproof, so that's a good note there to have. They're gonna provide you with waterproof protection. Simple Velcro tab here around the wrist, so you can cinch that down nice and snug. A Little bit of accordion around the knuckles. Personally, I like the flexibility and the added movement, but I wish there was a bit more protection incorporated with the gloves. So, you know, like a, a TPU or a carbon fiber knuckle would have certainly been nice and carried that through the fingers as well, just for that additional bit of protection. But you can see the button right there. That's your toggle, very easy to adjust as you need to do so. Thank you, Pat. Right here towards the bottom of the wrist, that's where you're going to plug in the gloves, where that other lead is going to plug in. Very straightforward. And you've got some additional reinforcement there at the palm uh, where you're grabbing the handlebars because that's a high wear area. Overall, very straightforward. Heating elements are only going to be on the top of the glove, but I like the waterproof capability here because when you're riding in the winter, you know, inclement weather, so you never know what you're going to run into. With the pants themselves, thank you, Pat. With the pants themselves, you can see you've got this uh, toggle right here. It's kind of this flap and it's actually designed to go over top of your gear, right? All of this is designed to fit underneath your existing gear. So that flap there has got some length to it and it's designed to actually go over top so you can access that plug uh, and manipulate that as you're riding as you need to do so. But with the Bluetooth, well, if you have that plug underneath, you might actually hit it and smash it. So I'd probably still throw it over top, but it just makes it a little bit easier to control that. My only gripe with this gear, you know, over my two years of using the heated, uh, the heated Evo jacket was that sometimes my jacket would actually press the button if I'm hunched down in a more aggressive riding position. So with that Bluetooth capability, I can actually make sure it's at the highest setting uh, when I need to do to, uh, excuse me, when I need to do so, because sometimes I'd be riding, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get a little chilly again. I look down it's on the lowest setting when I wanted it on the highest setting so just something to be cognizant of when you're riding around out there the pants themselves Pat go ahead and face aside for me sir the pants themselves very straightforward you do have a zipper pocket right here some slash pockets and then as we get closer to the knee right there on the side that's going to be a zipper as the main entry I like how high it is just because it makes it a little bit easier to step in and out of these uh, if you've already got your boots on or something like that or you just you know are throwing these on uh, real quick um, and then you've got some velcro towards the bottoms that just allows you to to A, step in and out of these pants more easily if you've got some bulkier boots on, and then that Velcro allows you to cinch it down, just kind of keep all that heat nice and insulated in the heated garments. Little bit of stretch here on the jacket as well, just to make it a little bit more form-fitting and a bit more comfortable underneath your existing gear. Pat, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Not a whole lot to look at on the back and things like that. It's very straightforward. And again, this is designed to fit underneath your existing gear. So make sure that you've got some stuff that is abrasion resistant and it's got some impact protection because you're not getting that with any of this. It's really just providing the heat to uh, those cold weather riding conditions. And the last note I wanted to make for you, all our bikes have different excess electrical capacities. When you start throwing on electrical items like heated gear or you know charging your iPhone or maybe auxiliary lights, you need to make sure you're looking into the excess electrical capacity that your bike actually has. So on that note, I do want to discuss some, uh, some of the options here and what they're bringing to the table. Looking at the jacket here, this is going to be approximate, but it's looking at about 74 watts approximately. The pants are going to be about 38 watts. The gloves themselves are 22, and then the vest itself is going to be right around 37 watts. So just keep paying attention to the excess electrical capacity your bike can actually uh, power because if you overload it, it's not gonna go well. So pay attention to that. There's a lot of resources online that you can uh, look into and make sure that your bike can properly support this heated gear. And of course, if you're looking for more details, click that info button. That's gonna take you over to the product page where you can take a closer look at this gear. And as always, if you have any additional questions for us, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give our customer service team a call and uh, we'll be happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with Pat and I and taking a closer look at the Hotwired Bluetooth Heated Gear Overview. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.